Oh, hi there! I wasn't actually picking my teeth. You know, I just found this in my camera bag together with some other awesome household stuff that I believe any filmmaker or photographer should need. Hey folks, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and today's video is sponsored by Videoblocks. Where you need stock videos, slideshows, backgrounds, you name it, Videoblocks probably has it. There's one time fee per year and with that subscription you can download as much as you want from their huge library. And on top of that, if you follow the first link in the description below, you can actually get a 7 day trial for free. Now back to the paperclip, one of 5 holds how things we all have laying around at home and are actually essential in every camera back. Now we use these paperclips to tie and hang cables. You simply bend one paperclip around a folded cable, but make sure there's a loop sticking out. The second paperclip goes around anything you want. Here you make sure that you have an open hook. Now you can simply hang your cable right here. It keeps it off the ground so that you can't trip or write with something over it, and you can easily take it off at any time. We actually use these at our desk to hang the cable of our headphones. That way we don't write our chairs over it. Next up is this cloth bin, which has many functionalities. Again, you can use this for a quick cable management around light stands, or you can also use it to attach filters in front of your lights. They're actually used in almost any big budget production and usually go by the name of C47. I guess that just makes them sound more tough. You clean your lenses now and then, right? You take one of these microfiber cloths to get the dirt and the stains off that glass, but what you're actually doing is pushing the dirt to the edges. So occasionally you want to use one of these. Such a cotton stick can remove the dirt from the edges of your lens. And they also fit better in your viewfinder, definitely photographers will benefit from this. I also use it to get underneath my camera cage, after that I had to film in a dusty environment. Now everyone loves strong tape, but for some applications you'll need painter's tape. It's very thin, doesn't stick so hard and it rips very easily. This makes it perfect to stick a microphone to the inside of someone's clothes. You can rip off a tiny piece from the tape and it will never leave any glue on their clothes. Also perfect if you want to stick a microphone to someone's skin. You can also write on the tape, which makes it perfect to label your gear or use it as a marker for your actors to stand or even mark your equipment. I've also done that right here in the studio with the couch, the tripod, the microphone stand, etc. So whenever I need to move something, I can always know where exactly I have to place them back. And the last one on the list is a toothpick and a rubber band. It's best to take a couple of toothpicks and break off their points, then loop your rubber bands like here around the toothpicks. What you have now is a very convenient cable tie and we actually use this to hang adapters to our light stands. And because you're using a rubber band, you can tighten the adapters in place and they won't go anywhere. You can also buy such rubber band cable ties or just visit a trade show like NEB or IBC and hope that Aperture will pass out some of these for free. Now if you have any other ingenious ideas to transform household things into film or photography tools, then let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Hey guys, you'll never believe what's there in front of me right now. Let's check it out. The offices! How cool is that? Let's have a look inside here. Now it's of course not done yet, but it's just so exciting to know that by the end of the month we'll be sitting up there editing our YouTube videos.